Hello guys, welcome to the next session of developing e-commerce application from scratch using Angular and Spring Boot. In the last session, we discussed on how we can rename our Spring Boot or Maven project. In this session, we are going to see how we can rename our Angular project as well. So if you remember, previously we have used two different GitHub repositories to set up the Spring Boot and Angular projects. So those GitHub repositories were containing the code which was related to the JWT uh, token and role-based authentication mechanism. Now, now if you remember, the project names were different um, in those GitHub repositories and we are going to develop application which is e-commerce application. So I just want to rename both of these project and I just want to make them relevant to the e-commerce application so that uh, the name should be more sensible. So previously we have seen how we can rename Spring Boot project. Let's see how we can rename Angular project as well. So first of all, let me just come to the VS code. And if you see, my project name is jwt-youtube-ui. So if you see into this left-hand side section. So very first thing that we have to do is we have to just close this VS code if it is already opened. And now we have to come to the location where our folder or project is stored. Then we have to rename these folder name itself in which all the files are stored. So we have to rename these a JWT hyphen YouTube hyphen UI folder. And if you see inside these folders, all our my project related files are stored. So let me just rename these uh, a folder and let me just make it as e-commerce hyphen YouTube hyphen UI like this. And let me just copy the name as well so that uh, at many different places we have to change the name. So let me just copy the name from here itself so that uh, I should not do any spelling mistakes um, at the different places. And now let me just hit the enter. Now we have to just open the VS code again. And now this time we have to open the folder that we have just uh, renamed. So let me just use open folder and let me just go to the projects, YouTube e-commerce app. And then we have to open the folder e-commerce YouTube hyphen U, e-commerce hyphen YouTube hyphen UI. Let me just click on open. Now, if you see into this left hand side section folder name is changed but changing the folder name will not i mean this is not only sufficient we have to do some uh, other changes as well so let me just go to the package.json file and on line number two if you see here also project name is mentioned so let me just remove this old name which is jwt hyphen youtube hyphen ui and let me just paste the new name so if you haven't copied make sure the name is correct that you have used for the folder name. And now let me just save this package.json file as well. The next thing that we have to do is we have to just come to the package lock JSON file. And now again, we have to do the same thing on line number two. So let me just do the same thing on line number two and let me just paste this name as well. And now package.json is updated and package lock JSON is also updated. Now there are also a couple of places like where we have to change the name. So if you just go to inside this E2E uh, a folder, so this is basically uh, E2E folder is basically responsible to uh, contain the code for uh, integration testing or automation testing, or maybe we can say that uh, BDD scenarios if you are aware about the writing behavioral uh, driven development. So those kind of uh, things that we can write into this E2E folder. But as of now, we are not going to take care of E2E folder. So I'm not going to look into that folder. And let me just first of all, try to run this code, whether we are getting any errors or not. If we are not getting any errors at this moment, then I think we are done with the renaming of the project. And uh, like we, we, we are good to go ahead with this. So as of now, I'm using the npm start command. So for many of the people, npm start may or may not work so if you are habitual of using the ng serve command then you can use the ng serve command now we didn't got any errors on the uh, terminal itself now let's try to go to the google chrome and let's see whether we get any errors or not but before running it into a google chrome make sure your backend application is running so let me just open the intellij and let me just first of all run my backend application so let me just click on this run button and let's see whether we uh, whether we get any errors in the Google Chrome or not or whether we are able to 
run it successfully so let me just open localhost 4200 and over here we are not getting the application let me just click on inspect let's see what is happening so let me just open the console yeah so now we uh, now our application is loaded i think it was taking some time to load the application but yeah now our application is uh, loaded so let me just try to log in with the application so let me just use admin 123 and admin at the rate pass and let me just click on login and yes we are able to log in as admin and if you see admin dashboard uh, link is also uh, enabled let me just click on log out and let me just click on login again and let this time let me just use a normal user credentials like raj123 and raj raj at the rate 123 let's see what we get yes we are getting you are a user and this url is only accessible to the user if you see the previously we were getting the admin dashboard link but now we are getting the user dashboard link so our jwt code is also working perfectly fine and our project is also renamed successfully so this is how we can rename our angular project uh, these are pretty simple steps but um, to make our project more sensible we have to perform these uh, steps as well so if you are following the exact steps you will not get any errors but if you still have any questions or if you still in some cases if you still get any um, errors then let me know into comment section i will try my best to help you out in that case so i hope you enjoyed this session i'll see you in the next session